By now, we've all heard of AI agents. You know, the bots who are automated and can make decisions for you. But did you know you can pass off one specialized AI agent to another specialized AI agent, which overall just makes the results significantly better? This idea of sending a request through different AI agents that can automate tasks and help sanitize your data is known as multi-agent AI. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. We are going to build an application where you can pass in your current health and fitness goals and we're going to use multi agents to create a workout and health routine and then we're going to use another ai agent to give you a motivational quote to keep going and to not give up this was a really fun exercise as the future of software development could fall into creating multi-agent ai solutions and disclaimer no i am not a believer that ai will remove software development but i am a believer that software engineers will need to know how to create these ai agents in the future as they become more of a standard in just regular software applications. If you're new to the channel, I'm Eric Roby, a software engineer with over a decade of experience, and I've helped over 100,000 developers learn and grow within their craft. With that, let's go ahead and jump into some code. All right, so I already have a fast API application started. So I have a main.py file, which is um, AI fitness trainer, which includes our router to our controller, which it just doesn't do anything. We have an endpoint at slash analyze that's not yet implemented. And that's pretty much the extent of our application. We have fast API and Uvicorn installed. So the first thing we need to do is jump into our models.py file. So how AI agents work is there's going to be a request and that request gets consumed by the AI agent the AI agent is going to make a fitness response. We're going to then call another AI agent to return motivational quotes. We're going to package that into the same response and send it back to the user. So all of our requests is going to be kind of a lot of code. So we have our activity level, which a user needs to pass in, which means like they don't do anything all the way to their an extreme athlete. Their fitness goals, are they trying to lose weight, gain muscle, maintain strength, endurance? exercise. So like, what do you currently do? What do you currently eat? And then your fitness profile is going to be what we pass in to the AI agent. So it's going to be like your age, weight, height, gender, activity level, fitness goal, do you have any kind of diet restrictions, any injuries the large language model needs to know about, for workout time, available equipment, all that kind of stuff. And it's going to try and pack together a full workout plan for you. And this is pretty awesome stuff. Really, really cool. Now, what do we want the actual AI agent to return with? Well, we want it to respond with um, certain information. So what we want it to have is we want it to have a type of exercise. So when we're returning a list of exercises, we want it to have a name, sets, rep, and rest time in between. And when we do meals, we want to say like what kind of meal, what kind of calories, protein, carbs, fats, what kind of timing do we need to have? Is it going to be breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack? It's going to have all that kind of information. And we want it broken up and make sure all this information is there so it can be easily comprehended from the user. So after we do this, we need to now return a complete workout plan uh, back to the user. And we're going to call this the fitness report result where we're going to have our um, workout plan and meal plan, which is going to be based on these exercise and meals, daily calories, recommended daily caloric intake, macros, tips for fitness and nutrition tips, weekly schedule, are you working out during the weekend, weekly, what's your meal time, and then our motivational quote. And what we're going to do here, we're going to have one AI agent grab like five motivational quotes, and then we'll have the other AI agent pull which one it thinks is best out of those five. So really cool stuff. So now let's go into our service and let's start by just adding in our Pydantic AI that we still need to install. So we can come over here and just say pip install Pydantic AI. This is the um, AI agent framework that we're gonna be using here and it comes with a whole bunch of different models. So now that we have, uh, that'll go away here in a second. What we're gonna be doing is importing our agent our run contacts and our capture run messages. We can actually remove that capture run messages. We are going to make sure that inside here we have our models of our fitness profile, which is what's going to what's going to be like the main thing the user submits. And then the fitness report result, which is going to be the response. Right here, our fitness agent, this is how we create our agent. We need to dictate what kind of model we're going to be passing in. And for this example, we're going to be using GPT-40, but feel free to use whatever um, endpoint you have available. Just make sure you set it up in your .env file. We have our dependency types. So this is what is required for this AI agent to work correctly. 
And for this AI agent to work correctly, it needs to have the fitness profile of that user. The result type of what we're resending back is the fitness report result. We're gonna say, allow this to retry three times. And we kind of want this one to be a little bit higher because we're passing in so much information and we're trying to respond so much information that we want it to have a couple of tries at the large language model. And here we can say, create a personalized fitness report result based on the user's information provided. Okay, that's for the first one. The second one for the motivational quotes, call the get motivational tool and pick the single best one from the list you receive. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. So we have this agent. Let's go ahead and create our motivational agent. So we can say motivational agent is going to equal a new agent. And just like before, we need to pass in, we want it to use GPT-40 and we want it to have a result type of a list of string, and then the system prompt is gonna give motivational quotes based on the user's fitness and goals and current status. So that's just the system prompt. So we have one AI agent, which is going to get all the fitness report. It's gonna be like the parent AI agent, gets all the information, and then we're gonna call our other motivational agent to get motivational quotes, and then our parent is gonna pick the best motivational quote out of all of them. So how do we do this? Well, we first need to customize our fitness agent to use the dependency that we're getting passed in so we can update the system prompt. Now to do this, we need to create an annotation so we can say at fitness agent dot system prompt. We need this to update our system prompt. And then we can say async def add user fitness data. We're gonna be passing in our run contacts, which is like our ability to be able to use dependency injection of our profile that we're passing in at runtime. So during the run of this AI agent, we're gonna to need to call this system prompt we're gonna grab the fitness data, which is gonna be um, the dependencies of our run context. And then we're gonna say the user fitness profile and goals are here. We're saying create a report based on the user's information and here's the user information and it does all the connection and calling to make this work behind scenes. We then can add something called a fitness tool. Now an at fitness agent tool, this is a type of function that gets ran. So it's not updating the system prompt, it's a function that our application is reliant on. So here we can say get motivation from a run context and motivational agent, not motivation agent. Whoops, what did I do? Motivational agent, there we go. But now we're gonna say return away motivational agent run, please generate five motivational quotes about working out and eating healthy. So our motivational agent is going to run right here and get five quotes. So how this works, our main parent agent is going to start it. At this time, we're gonna run time and it might call this system prompt, which it will in this case. It's gonna pass in the fitness profile of that user. It's then gonna get that fitness information. Then we're saying run the get motivation tool. So run your tool, which is annotated by fitness agent, which means it can run this tool during run. We're gonna pass in the run context because that's required. We're then gonna call the other AI agent, which is gonna return five motivational quotes. And then our parent agent is gonna grab the best quote that it thinks is right for the user at the end. And then we need our service function to actually be able to run all this. And this is simply gonna be our analyze profile where we're passing in our profile, returning a fitness report result where our result is going to be the await of our fitness agent. So this up here, just like we're doing down here, run, create a personalized fitness and nutrition plan, and we're gonna pass in our dependencies and wait for the results. Now, inside our controller, we now need to say return await this, where we can pass in our profile. We just don't have any of this stuff yet. So we can say, um, we can import what we need right here. We can say this is going to be our fitness um, profile of this type. And then we want to call our analyze profit or analyze profile where we're going to pass in our fitness profile. And that should call our service in here. Yeah, perfect. So now if we open up our terminal and we run this app, open up our application, there it is. Here is everything we need to pass in. I already have some fake data here. Age 35, weight is 82, height 175, gender is male, activity level moderate, fitness goal, weight loss, dietary restrictions, 
lactose intolerant and no pork. Um, injury is mild knee pain. Preferred workout is in the mornings. We have dumbbells, resistant bands, and yoga mats. And our, we like to work out four times per week. Now, this call will usually take a little bit longer than maybe we've seen in other videos, and that's because we are just making sure we are capturing so much data for our response. All right, it's done loading, and we can see the workout plan. Workout plan, dumbbell squats, three sets, 12 reps, rest time is 60 seconds in between, resistance band at deadlifts, shoulder press, dumbbell rows, yoga stretch routine, meal plan for breakfast, oatmeal with almond milks and fruits, Tells us right there for lunch, grilled chicken salad with olive oil. Exactly what we need right there. Uh, has our dinner, has a snack in there. Daily calories, what our macros should be. Tips, up for morning workouts when your energy levels are high. Focus on low impact exercises to protect your knees because we said our knees was an injury that we had. And look at this. I mean, stretch and cardio, rest. This is all, and here's the quote, and it picked the best one. So we got five quotes and it picked the best one. So the secret of getting ahead is getting started on your fitness journey. Every day is a new opportunity to improve yourself, take it, and make the most of it. This is awesome. We are now creating AI agents. So we're using FastAPI to take in a request. We're using um, our AI agents from Pydantic AI to give us the result that we need based on the profile the user sends in, and then we return it using FastAPI. So this is awesome stuff. This is going to be I mean, I, I, this is the future. Like, this has to be the future. Look how, look at this. Look at this and tell me this is not the future. So I'm glad you're right here as uh, we embark on this journey. I'm having a ton of time looking into AI agents with Fast API and Pydantic AI. Might do some looking into it with like Langchain and some other um, AI agent frameworks. But hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video where we just keep learning about this new world.